Hey guys, John Faulkner here with Survival Dispatch, and today I'm joined by Chris, Angry American Weatherman. What's going on, guys? So, all right, today's video is all about staging your preps and scaling them to to fit what you need it yes. to. Yes. Um, and, and that's why we have a bunch of different bags represented. And we're not gonna go into the specifics on what's in every single bag, but it's how you can start with something small. And what we're gonna start with is our EDC. Yep, everyday stuff that we carry either on us. You know, EDC is also your vehicle. Like my vehicle, yeah. my truck is certainly an EDC because <laughs> it's packed full of things that yeah. I always want around, so. And, and what these bags are kind of representing is just how you can scale it based on where you're gonna be, what you're doing mm -hmm. uh, in your daily life. So, your, and your needs and yeah, uh, yeah the whole thing. Because a lot of people think they can make a big, huge, giant bug out bag like this and they'll always have it with them. Like, yeah. This and then they never have it with them because Chris's is the size of a trunk of a car. Um, where where yeah. a bag in this situation, you know, in these sizes would be a whole lot more suitable for for what they are intending or trying to the, do. Yeah, their actual needs. Yeah, you really need to think of what am I actually going to do. And so. and the biggest thing is is uh, trying to get a, a kit that fits into your system. Yes. So you don't buy you know Chris's ginormous bag here it's and huge, then go yes. get an F two fifty to have something to put it in. Yeah. Uh, if if you're just a urban commuter. And you have, you know, a regular two-door car, uh, a bag this size oh, is Or, fit you much know, if you're public truck. transit, riding right. trains and buses and stuff, people are going to look at you funny when you walk up with this. Yeah. They're not going to bat an eye if you have this slung over your shoulder and you sit down beside them. Yeah. So, so, so what we're going to do is, is we're going to start with, what, like I said, uh, our EDC. Yep. So that is what we're going to start. We're not going to go through it. Uh, if you want to see our EDCs, you can click the link above. Nikki will put it there. Um, but, you know, we'll start with EDCs. Now. What I said next we would go to is this visor cover. So this just goes on your sun visor of your car. Uh, these, these three items right here are from Roaring Fire. If you want more information on these, click the links below in the description. Um, very affordable gear, web gear that can you know, help you keep all your stuff in one location. Uh, but a small little kit like this, it's inconspicuous, pretty much yep. out of the way. Yep. It's not gonna take up any room in your car. And, and it just gives us a little bit more than our EDC does. Yeah. It might give us a little bit bigger of a flashlight. Uh, not everybody carries cash on them all the time. Not everybody carries a lighter or a notebook. Or your pen that's stuck in there. Cause like yeah. you, we were jumping around in my truck with Alan the other day up in Georgia trying to find an ink pen, you know, for something. So, so having this stuff nearby. Yeah. And two, remember your vehicle is always your closest point of resupply. Right. right. So, so, you know, we throw on an extra tourniquet here, a larger multi-tool, flashlights. Uh, this is a rescue me. This is a seatbelt cutter, glass breaker, you know, things like that that are more vehicle specific. Um, but this is just something that, man, and, oh, and a cool survival dispatch patch. It'd be better if it had this one on it. But Whatever. It, it's got that one. Um, but, you know, you can, you can just stick this up on your visor and it gives you more yep. ability. Yeah. And that's what this is all about, able to handle whatever might happen and give you more options. Well, and you're, and you're, be, you're being able to utilize some real estate in your vehicle that otherwise does nothing for right. you. So. Right, so, so that's the roaring fire, uh, sorry, I kicked the can underneath. Literally. Uh, <laughs> a roaring fire visor cover. Click the link below if you're interested in more. And then we come to the little bag. Uh, just a cool little sling bag that roaring fire makes. And um, we did a hundred dollar get home, small get home yep. bag. That's what's packed into this. Uh, if you want to see all the contents of it, click right there. Um, but you know, just super small. Now, where does this fit in? This fits into the staging of, goes into a desk drawer. Yeah, yeah. It can sit under your desk at work. Yeah, throw it in a filing cabinet at work, you know, um, a locker if you're a college student. Hang it behind thing. a door. If you have an office, hang yeah. it behind the door. Yep. Uh, a locker, like you said. You know, I mean, it's small. Or two, uh, you know, like if, if you're hitting a, like a theme park, water park, that kind of thing during the summer, this gives you a way to carry a little bit of stuff, mm -hmm. you know, um, kind of inconspicuously. They're going to search them. Don't think yep. you're going to have pocket knives and stuff in here. But you can carry some things in with you. It's a way to do it because especially at like water parks, what are you wearing? Swimsuit. Swimsuit. They're yeah. not exactly Shorts. full of cargo yep. pockets and things like that. So, uh, and you know, and if you're a if you're a commuter that takes a bicycle into work, mm -hmm. if you ride public transportation, um, you know, it's hard to to walk down you know extremely urban streets, you know, Chicago, New York, things like that, with a giant huge bag. Yeah, you'd stick but out. You can wear something like this, and they come in different colors. But I mean, this is just representation once again of a small bag 
that can give you a lot more options. I mean, this thing's tar topped with a, a huge tarp yep. uh, that has a mylar. Uh, it's got ways to start fire, purify water, cordage, uh, cordage the whole thing. it's all you know, in there. cups. You can fit all kinds of stuff in here, um, but it's still small, you know. And that's and that's where I think this is the most overlooked size of yeah. a kit. I'd agree. We go from EDC to I need a big bag. Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff that you can jam into a little pack. Absolutely. And get done with. Yeah. So all right, scaling up. Scaling up, we got this. Is, this this is reminiscent of the old Maxpedition like Pygmy Falcon yep. kind of size footprint wise. But you know, the, I mean, the quality of construction and, here is not bad at all. And the and the and as far as bags go, I mean, you could get anything like a five eleven bag, a Vertex bag, yeah, uh, you name it. Yeah. You know, there's tons of bags that fit yeah. in this any, size. Any whatever uh, brand you prefer, yep. you know. And but, dude, price point wise, this stuff's pretty tight. Yeah. You know? I mean, this is going to be a great get home bag size. You know, if you live twenty. 25, 30 miles, you know, yeah, if, away. Yeah, if, if you're looking at, you know, possibly having a maybe overnight one or two yep. nights, something like this would be fine. Um, you know, again, we got to remember if, if we're in a situation where we're having to utilize like a get home bag or, or something like that, um, you're not going to be as comfortable as you are sitting on the couch. You're right. not going to be as comfortable as you are sleeping in your bed. These things are designed to keep us alive. That's what they're designed to do. Keep us alive, let us get home. So, but this gives you plenty of room. I mean, tarps, shelter, cordage, food, water. I mean, you can put food in this thing, everything. A pair of shoes if you had yeah, to. A pair, yeah, a pair of shoes. Well, like these side straps would be yep. a great place. You stick your good walking shoes in there because most people that work in offices do not wear footwear yeah. appropriate to walk home in. So, but it's a great size. It'll take a water bladder too, you know. Um, it'll take one even inside. I think it's got yep. the, uh, the hole where, oh, right there where it comes out. Yep. Um, or back here in the back, you know. So this thing has a lot of options on it. Yeah. And there's some molly, so you can hang even more stuff off of it. And this know. size of a bag is fantastic if you drive a, 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 a car, yeah. you know, um, and, and be able to, to scale it down just a little bit, but still give you enough uh, essentials yeah. to, to really get you and even you and a, another member, you know, Absolutely. a couple of nights out. Well, too, and it, you know, we are talking about we're coming up on Christmas, it is the holiday season, you know, for family members who are kind of on the fence or, or even just overtly against the idea of it, build them a little kit say, look, just throw this thing in the truck yeah. of your car and yeah. don't worry about it. It's there. You never know what it might help you, you know, so. So yeah, so I mean, you kind of go from visor to small little size to a regular, I would say like a regular size backpack. On the small end, yeah. but still a regular size backpack, yeah. yes. To? To, you know, the Moab here, you yeah. know, the mother of all backpacks. So. <laughs> uh, but this is my personal bag. I mean, yes, this thing is enormous, but you guys gotta have to remember, I travel a lot by truck, um, and I can be hundreds or thousands of miles away from home. This bag is designed for me to live out of for an extended slash even indefinite time. So, I mean, in this, there's a full shelter system with a wood burning stove, um, sleep equipment, food, medical, um, solar power stuff to keep batteries charged. I mean, this thing has everything in it. Stuff for fire, fire, you know, I mean, it's, it's got it all. Um, extra clothes, warming layers, those kind of things, because I don't know what the temperatures will be like where I am. You know, spare socks, waterproof socks, Glock shovel, and a lot of people laugh. You talk about carrying a e-tool, but as we discovered when we were up on the mountain in Georgia, digging sticks. They suck. Suck. Yeah. So, you know, so my this bag is designed for me. Yes, this is a heavier bag, but to me, it's not. It's not bad. I can, I ruck with this in the mornings. Me and Mel, um, she, she's come around in a big way. We get in the morning, we throw our rucks on, and we do about a three mile walk mm. and come back home. And, you know, it gets us used to toting that weight until you find out exactly where adjustments need to be made. So, but yeah, you know, it, again, it's scalable. What are yeah. you doing? If, if I'm in Colorado and something happens, you know, I know I can take this bag and it will keep me alive. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's really, you know, what we wanted to cover here was being able to scale your preps. Yep. Uh, according to what you need out of them. And you know, the visor, yeah, it's it's great preps, but it's really just uh, convenience. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, when no, you're driving, reach up. Right. Well, like having the ink pen and a notepad like right there, and if someone calls you yep. and you're sitting in a red light, you need to make a quick note, oh, grab that, got it, put it back. Also like the little clear panel here too, great place to keep your registration, yeah. insurance, those kind of things, because if your vehicles are like mine in the console, it's full of guns. Um, so I hate opening that when law enforcement's involved. But quick and convenient. Yeah, just just ease of access. And then and then being able to scale scale up, up. you know. And I think that's that's where we want to make one big bag and say we're good. And then we hardly ever have our big bag. 
Well, and two, if, if you drive anything short of like an FT50 with a damn tonneau cover yeah. on it, this is a lot of bag for the average car. You throw this yeah. in the in the trunk of a Honda Accord, and that's pretty much what you're going to have yeah. is this thing in the trunk of the Honda Accord. And now I know somebody can't even ask, fit any dead bodies back there. Yeah, you couldn't even put like no. even like you know a small dead yeah. body back there. Uh, before I know people are going to ask, this is a Mr. Ranch bag. That's where I got it from. Yep. Um, this is on the high end. I'll tell you that now. If you go look at them, you're probably just going to close that website because I wanted to when I saw it. But, but it's a great bag. It's high quality. Oh, uh, this this is. I mean, this is mil, mil spec. Yeah. This is even tier one guys. This is the kind of equipment they use. It's just high end. It's designed for it. So, but like you're saying, scalable. This is a keep me alive forever. Like if I had this backpack and wandered off into the woods, it mm -hmm. would go a long way to keeping me going forever. So. Yeah, and, and if you live 25 miles away from your house, yeah, this isn't what overkill. You yeah, way overkill. overkill. You know, and that's what we're saying. Like, <laughs> figure, yeah. figure out where you need to be and, and, then, and then make a kit that really fits what you need. Yes. Um, so, so guys, I hope you like this video and I hope you like the approach that we have here. Yeah. Uh, and if you have any other questions or comments with regards to this topic, feel free to leave them down. We'll be, definitely be around for the next couple of days and we'll make sure that we answer them. And make sure you hit the like button also. It really helps us get the word out about Survival Dispatch. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, be safe. See you guys.